Hi everybody, my name is Chelsea and our story today is Peaceful Piggy Meditation. Sometimes the world can be such a busy, noisy place. Like right now, there are fireworks going on in my neighborhood. You might even hear them while I'm trying to tell the story. Sometimes it feels like you're always having to hurry, hurry, hurry. And you feel like you can't slow down even when you're sitting down. It can be hard not to lose your temper when you're angry. And you can get really frustrated when things don't go your way. So it's good to have a peaceful place inside. It's good to meditate. Peaceful piggies know when to take a break. Find a quiet spot and just breathe. 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 Your parents might help you set up a special place with a few things. Maybe a crystal for clear thinking, a stone for stillness, or even a flower for kindness. Peaceful piggies sit like a king or a queen on their throne, feeling the solid earth beneath them and the big sky all around them. Every day they sit feeling their breath going in and out until their minds calm down. So peaceful piggies feel free like a bird in the sky and as calm as a pond on a cool, clear night. This makes it easier to accept things that happen and stop wishing for things to be different. Come back to life, Goldie, says this pig as they're crying. She's gone, says that one. When you're peaceful, you can truly be fearless. Best of all, when you're feeling peaceful, you like who you are, just as you are. I'd better say sorry, I was mean to her. So it's easier to face the truth about yourself. And it's easier to stand up to others. Peaceful piggies take good care of their friends. It says happy birthday. And their enemies too. This one says, hmm, I don't want a piece of cake. They try to be loving and kind to all beings. Even worms. As Unitarian Universalists, we believe this too. Our first principle is that we have inherent worth and dignity beliefs that every person has inherent worth and dignity. That means that we believe every person deserves kindness. And this piggy with a worm being nice to a worm reminds me of our seventh principle, which says that we believe in the interconnectedness of all of life. By slowing down, peaceful piggies notice all the magical little things in life, like the way raindrops race each other down the window. The way the clouds tell silent stories and the way birds sing songs just for you. Having a peaceful place inside helps keep a happy heart happy so that even on a horrible, painful, disgustingly rotten day, a peaceful piggy and smile. So here are your questions to talk about with your family today. 
When is a good time to meditate? How do you do it? And how does it help? Well, we can practice our meditation together today. Listen to our singing bowl to help you calm down your mind. And when the bowl comes to a stop, that's when we'll begin our meditation. Ready? Find yourself in a comfortable seat or lay down and get comfortable. Our body and our minds are connected. When our mind is tense and busy and full of thoughts, our bodies become tense and stressed out. Likewise, when we relax the body, that sends a message to the mind to relax and to slow down. As your body relaxes, you'll find that your mind softens and relaxes too. So I'm going to take you through a full relaxation and when I'm done, we're going to slowly move into the next exercise, a breathing meditation. And this is how I'd like for you to do that. You'll very slowly roll over onto one side, paying attention to how your body feels. Then make a pillow with your hands and rest there for a moment. Then I'll instruct you to very slowly push up into a sitting position. Keep your eyes just relaxing and keep your attention on how your body feels as it moves. When you come to a comfortable sitting position, close your eyes and I'll begin leading you through a breathing meditation. It's very important that you keep your motion to a minimum so that the body and mind can stay in this quiet, rested place for as long as possible. So, put the palms of your hands facing upward towards the ceiling and let your feet fall away to the sides, allowing your entire body to just fall into the floor. Close your eyes and mouth and bring your attention into your body. Feel the contact of your body with the floor, the hardness, the coldness, the warmth, whatever you feel. And try to ignore the distractions that are around you. Bring your attention to your feet and consciously relax all the muscles, completely letting go of any strain. Feel the muscles become soft and relaxed. Now feel the muscles in your calves, letting go of any tightness or strain, allowing the muscles to become soft and relaxed. Allow your entire calf to just fall into the floor, very heavy, very soft, melting into the floor. Now let your awareness spread throughout your entire body, allowing every part to completely relax, becoming heavy, soft, falling into the floor. And now, bring your awareness into your tummy area. Feeling it move as you breathe, rise and fall in and out. Moving your awareness into your chest, feel it rise and fall as you breathe. 
No need to control the breath. Just let it come and go as it will. Sometimes the breath will be long, sometimes short, sometimes deep, sometimes shallow. Just let it be and watch. Moving your awareness to the back of your throat, feel the air pass there, very soft and light. Moving your awareness to the back of the nose area, feel the air passing in and out, warm and cool, in and out. Moving your awareness to just inside the nostrils, feeling the air passing in and out warm and cool, dry and moist. Moving your awareness to the tip of your nose, feel whatever sensations are there. Your mind is like a microscope, focusing in on the smallest of sensations, finding the atoms of sensation. Now let your attention go to wherever in the breath it was. The nose, the throat, the chest, your stomach. Just letting the attention be with the breath. Very soft, very gentle, very light, very quiet. Keeping your eyes closed, bring the attention to the palms of your hands, feeling them resting on your knees or on the ground or on your stomach or wherever they may be. Slowly lift your hands and feel the movement as you bring your hands up and then palms together in front of your chest, feeling all the sensations. And now bring your hands back to your knees or the ground or your chest or wherever they were before. Open your eyes to look at the floor just in front of you and take a nice deep breath. And now open your eyes all the way. I'm going to ring our bell again. And come back to where you are. And that's the end of our time together today. Thank you so much for joining me. See you next time.